The results reported today are among the thickest and most continuous high grades identified at the project and includes the single highest grade interval ever drilled at the Trollis mine, mine site. That sounds amazing to me, Justin. Let's start there. They are amazing. I, um, we have, uh, over the last four years, we've drilled 250,000 meters and we've had lots of great results and um, identified over 8 million ounces of gold and growing. These results are different. Troilus has always been a circa one gram ore body. It produced 14 years at one gram. All the work we show, it ebbs and flows and grades, but all of a sudden we've identified a new zone, which we're calling X22, extension 2022, um, at surface, running for, defined by drilling over 300 meters, now being drilled over a kilometer as we speak, where uh, we've, we've been able to identify significantly higher grade. And I'm talking two, three, 400 times higher grade um, uh, at surface. And so in any kind of low grade bulk tonnage deposit, when you can increase the grade significantly, early on in a mine life, so shallow, uh, it's gonna have a huge impact on what this looks like. And so uh, we're actively drilling it. We have three drills on it now. We believe it's going to have a huge impact to the, uh, to the economics going forward. And for those of you out there going, Tracy, what are you talking about? We're talking about the October 17th news release, which included single best interval in projects history. And it actually created a change in the company's direction based on how I read it. Is that correct? Yeah, we've uh, we've completed a huge amount of drilling and a lot of engineering. And a lot of the engineering we have done, especially the geotech work and the metallurgical work, the water management and tailings management work has already been done at a feasibility level. We were working towards a pre-feasibility. And essentially what this zone does, it makes a good deposit potentially great. And to put out a pre-feasibility right now without including this essentially is putting an incorrect study out. And so our board, uh, our senior management, our board had a lot of consultations. We went to our largest shareholders and had a big discussion. And we basically said, if we go straight to a feasibility, it's going to be accretive to economics by putting defining higher grade early on. It's going to be accretive to time. So rather than finishing the pre-feasibility before the end of the year, re-scoping the feasibility and getting to work on that, we're just going to push through right into the feasibility and keep working without stopping. It's three to four months accretive on our actual timeline. And believe it or not, it'll save us about four to five million dollars. So for all the right reasons, um, technical success, time, and capital, uh, we're moving straight to feasibility and we'll be targeting the feasibility uh, uh, in the second half of next year. And of course, as we were discussing, you're well-funded, you got 20 million in the bank, cash and cash equivalents, is that correct? And you're approximately, that where are we in market caps right now? Yeah, we're about a $85 million market cap, I'm embarrassed to say. Um, caught up in the wave of developers um, in the current market. Yeah, that was as of our last quarter. Cash is a little bit lower. Um, it didn't really go noticed by the market. We raised uh, $5 million quietly about three weeks ago at a 35% premium to market, not flow through, hard dollars with one investor. And so that's put us in good footing. We're, uh, we're just over $10 million. So we, we've got what we need through, next, through uh, the beginning of next year. And of course, for those of you that are doing your due diligence, you're going to be very impressed with this management team. And so what are you guys doing in this upcoming quarter that we should be looking forward to? More drilling, more of the same. Uh, we're drilling out this new zone with a real focus on grade. And uh, that's underway. We'll be putting out our regional work. We had about 25 people regionally on our 1400 square kilometer land package uh, with great success. And we'll be releasing that to the market. All of the drilling completed over the last two years will come out in a new resource statement targeting the end of the year. It will not include this new zone. That will be 
that will be into 2023. So no slow, uh, no slowing down at all. Okay, so no slowing down. This is one of the most, you know, prominent projects for those of you out there looking at gold and copper projects because you've actually been a producer in the past. Yeah, the mine produced for 14 years, uh, 2 million ounces of gold, 70,000 tons of copper and two open pits. And it really was shut down because of corporate objectives and the economy. Um, gold is $1,000 higher now. Copper is about 100% higher. So uh, this, the, this uh, asset and these, this deposit really can drive a return. Well, as always, Justin, thank you for the update and congratulations on this very impressive drilling results. Thank you.